video, so I'm from Organization called WordWorks, and um, to summarize what we do, we focus on early literacy and language. And the first eight years of the Since 2005, we have worked in under-resourced communities with those adults best positioned to impact on young children's learning. Parents, caregivers, community members, ECU practitioners, home visitors, and grade R to grade 3 teachers. We develop high quality, evidence-based multilingual programs and materials to support early language and literacy learning. Our materials are used in program implementation and access widely as open educational resources. We provide initial training and maintain contact with a growing network of schools and organizations using our programs. Through our work, we aim to show practical, cost-effective and scalable ways of supporting early language and literacy development. We have worked with the Western Cape Education Department to roll out provincial training for grade R teachers and in 2018, 25,000 children were reached through our early literacy programs. The three most important things that lead to success or failure in our programs. The success and integrity of our work comes from building respectful relationships with those that implement and benefit from our programs. We work from the premises that they are interested in and committed to improving both their knowledge and the educational opportunities for children in their care and that their contribution is significant. We do not believe that language and literacy work should be the preserve of highly qualified expert. We bring content and ideas that are evidence-based but nevertheless accessible, meaningful and easily taken up. We not only design and develop programs but train on them and support those that use them in their daily work. This ensures that we are responsive and constantly learning from and with those that use our programs. The benefits of working deeply over time is that we are constantly building, learning and improving. We have to keep asking questions about how can we share this and how can our work go to scale. The biggest lessons we have learned, as is often the case, the factors that have led to our successes are also those that might mean we fail. We are called to do the traditional work of NGOs, building relationships over time, designing for local context, innovating and iterating. But given the scale of the literacy crisis in our country, we are also called to ensure that our work has the potential to be taken up at scale. This is not an easy balance to hold. Given the limited research on early language and literacy in our country, and until recently a lack of research on learning to read and, in Af and write in African languages, we have also been called to be content specialists and play a thought leadership role. We believe that straddling implementation, program design and advocacy places us in a fairly strong and unique position. However, the demands on a smaller organization can be overwhelming. We know that there's a growing network of NGOs that are working to support early language and literacy in the birth to five space. Together we are learning what works and there's huge potential for this work to grow. There is a need to share learning and to look carefully at how lessons at a local level can inform programs at scale. However, we see that there's not enough being work done that spans the critical phase as children from move from ECD centres to grade R and into grade 1. There's also a huge amount of work to be done at a curriculum level to take the reality of children's school entry levels into account and to ensure that our curricula land across pre-grade R, grade R and into grade 1. We believe that another critical gap in the NGO sector but also in policy is a focus on understanding and addressing the needs of teachers, families and children in multilingual context. Our language policy says one thing, our curriculum says another. While NGOs can work to give parents and teachers strategies to support children learning to speak, read and write in more than one language, we need a systemic response. And my message to the President is that the current focus on early grade reading is not early enough. To date, all of the large-scale systemic literacy interventions have begun in grade one, even though children do not begin learning to read in grade one. If we want more children to learn to read and write successfully, we must start earlier by building the capacity of ECD teachers and parents to support early language and literacy. We know there is a need to improve the teaching of reading in grade one, two, three, and to support the teachers in this phase. This is only part of the solution. The majority of our children miss out on vital early learning opportunities from birth to six years, and the achievement gap is entrenched from the earliest years. How different would our literacy results be if children began school better prepared to cope with the demands of the curriculum? If early childhood development teachers, parents and caregivers were better resourced and could access knowledge and practical ideas about the kinds of experiences that promote language and literacy. Thank you.